The next filament maker enables you to extrude filament with many different types of plastics, also called polymers. When selecting a polymer, it is important to know that there are many grades that might have similar names but can have vastly different properties, and need different settings to be extruded. Polymer manufacturers usually supply a material data sheet, which gives a good indication of things like the required melting temperature range, and information about the material's viscosity. To extrude the material, it needs to be in the right viscosity range to be made into a filament. Many polymers take up moisture because of their hydroscopic properties. This can cause problems during filament extrusion, by disrupting the flow and possibly causing bubbles. That is why polymers should often be pre-dried. The technical data sheet usually provides the necessary drying information. The next advanced model, with mixing element, gives you compounding capabilities up to a certain level. It can be used for blending multiple materials into one filament. For example, by using a base granulate polymer and combining this with additives in powder or fiber form. For compounding multiple polymers or colorants, the materials must be compatible with each other and in the same melting temperature range. With the next, you can use materials in granulate or powder form. For granulate form, the maximum grain size is 4.3 millimeters in diameter. When using powder extrusion, it is advised to apply pressure in the hopper to make sure there is enough material flow created. Depending on the level of experience you have with extruding your materials with the next, you can use as little as 100 grams of material to start making a filament. When a material has a very high or low melting temperature, a transitioning material might be needed to bridge the melting temperature difference. This is to prevent the previous material from burning or clogging while reaching the necessary temperature for the new material. When working with materials, always think about safety. Most polymer manufacturers supply a safety data sheet with the material which tells exactly if the polymer might cause harm and how to take precautions. Always be aware of hot materials and avoid touching this by hand. You can always take precautions such as placing the next under a fume hood using eye or breathing protection and temperature proof gloves or pliers. When working with powders, take necessary precautions to make sure they don't become airborne. When working with your material, take your time to go through all the preparation steps and take the necessary actions accordingly. Plan enough time for your test runs, leave room for learning, and make sure you have enough material on hand for working towards the right settings for creating your own 3D print filament.